airport association's secretary. Secretary, but you're the founder, right? Well, you might say that. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, how many members do we have now? Ninety-one members, as of uh, the last time I put out an email. Okay. And how many airplanes? And do we have that's here? down, I might say, because we were up. We were all the way up to 200 members at one time, but we're we're victims of our own success because there's nothing controversial going on at the, on the airfield now. When there, when we had problems with snow plowing, we had problems with with the ultralights, as you remember, and we had all these problems. We'd have 60, 70 members at a meeting. <laughs> now. There's no problems. We got everything solved, so we're we're victims of our own success. But we go along. We still have fun. Well, it's one of the few airports in Alaska that has an association, member association, and uh, I know that AOPA values the association and all the work that you've done. So it, I, I've noticed that it, it kind of this airport's a notch up from some of the others because of that. Yeah. Well, the flight planning facility we. Our right. members built by all volunteers. Um, the uh, we formed it really because we didn't have a voice with the state and the federal, etc. So the and everybody was calling the the state would say yeah yeah three bags full and hang up the phone the same way with the FAA until we got a, an association. We said now I can go to the state and say look I represent a hundred people at Birchwood and more that aren't members and they listen and we get things done and we have a we have a tremendously good um, relationship with the state and the FAA now. And when was the association founded? I remember when you started it in the early We actually 2000. started it in, in 1999. Um, really we started doing serious thinking about it in 1998. And we had a meeting and said, yeah, yeah, let's do one. And nobody really got off the dime. And then in 1999, we did. And we formed it up formally, established dues, this, that, and the other, and started getting members. Our first, uh, first year's membership was right at 50. I think it was 52 members the first year. And then the year 2000, we, uh, we, we started increasing because people realized, geez, the snow's getting plowed and things are getting done. Because we, now we had a single voice to go with the state and, and etc. So we started to increase. And we incorporated in 2001, we're a nonprofit uh, corporation under the, state, the laws of the state of Alaska. And then in 2003, we built this flight planning facility over here. And uh, we built it. We got the money allocated in the capital budget through Rick Halford, who was the uh, our legislator. Then. And uh, <clears throat> everything you see was done for under forty thousand dollars, including the paving and everything else. I remember it went up really quick too. Yeah, three days. <laughs> we had it under roof in three days. Kip Knutson was the uh, commissioner of aviation at the time, and he sent me an email and he said. It's my desire to have it under roof before the snow falls. We put that thing up and had it under roof in three days. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> All volunteers. Yeah, that's great. And then in uh, June 2000, we actually we actually broke ground. We broke ground in October 2002, and in June, I think it was June 2003. We turned the building over to the state. Now, we have an agreement. We are responsible for all of the maintenance, minor maintenance, cleaning, stocking toilet paper and paper towels, and anything that goes on in there, that's up to the association. The state pays for the uh, gas and electric and telephone. And, and we take care of everything else. Is there anything that the, uh, the pilot briefing shack or center <laughs> needs that? that you can think of that might get donated by either a pilot or some no, other organization? Uh, not right now. We've got, um, uh, I've got a new computer coming, so that'll be cool. online here pretty quick. The old one just got old. I mean, let's face it, that's yeah. 10 years. We're 10 years in there. Yeah. 
So, uh, no, I don't think so. I think we're in pretty good shape. All right. So, I counted about uh, 40 people here. So, how many people have come through, do you think? There's been a lot more than that because sure. we've been through 120 hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> and now, I right. granted, some, a lot of people had to... We've been through 120 hamburgers and 13 gallons of chili. So that I'm happy with the turnout. Yeah, it's great. And uh, and at these barbecues, I welcome everybody. I don't care if they're members or not. We invite them to join if they care to join, you know, and several have. Yeah, I see that, <laughs> as well as myself. But, uh, but they don't have to. If they're operating out of the airfield, I... I call on the radio, invite anybody that's in the pattern, come on in and have a hamburger. Yeah, that's what Rams or uh, Mike said, you called him when he was on yeah. in the pattern, tell him there was a barbecue going on, that's great. So, we, we like to like to keep it neighborly here. Yeah, it's great, it's good to see kids around here. Yeah. like to see more young folks. Amen. <laughs>